And tonight, the latest hit and run mystery in the city has us exploring the crime of failing to remain. It may surprise you to learn just how often it happens and why some people choose to flee the scene of a crime. One week ago tonight, a 63-year-old woman was out walking with a friend and was struck and killed when an SUV mounted a curb at York Mills and Don Mills. The driver took off. Police have tracked down this vehicle after a tip from an auto body shop and say it's registered to a 28-year-old woman from Toronto named Erin Wright, who is not cooperating. Miss Wright is a person of interest to the Toronto Police Service in this investigation. We are seeking her whereabouts on the evening of the 4th from approximately 10.30 p.m. till the morning of the 5th at approximately 1.30 a.m. Exactly two weeks ago tonight, here in the Warden and Ellesmere area, a 34-year-old mother and her 5-year-old daughter were both struck and killed. The driver also took off and still hasn't been found. In that case, police are looking for a 2006 or 2011 black Honda Civic. These two, just the latest in a series of hit and runs in the city. In August, a 45-year-old woman died after a hit and run at Dundas and Sherburne. That same month at Dufferin and King, a man in his 50s was seriously injured. The driver took off. In fact, 33 times a day in the city, someone gets involved in some kind of an accident and fails to remain. Toronto Police telling City News, so far this year, there have been more than 9,200 failed to remains. At the same time last year, there were more than 8,800. Everything from minor damages to death. The Belgian Road Safety Institute did a study on hit-and-run offenders and found that most often they're young men. In 74% of the incidents, there were no injuries. In 11%, another person was injured, just 1% were fatal. And 42% of the times, the driver was under the influence of alcohol or drugs. They also looked at why people flee, among the factors that logical thinking was impaired by intoxication, that the failure to remain charge carries a lighter penalty than driving under the influence, as well as concerns over financial and social implications. Now, in this latest tragedy at Don Mills and York Mills, uh, police have put out a plea for residents to send them any video that they may have of the time of crash as they try to pinpoint just who was behind the wheel when that 63-year-old woman was struck.